Hey, this is Rob, founder of Coifin. I wanted to show you how client portfolios work and how you can import portfolios from Schwab using our integration. Let me show you how to do that. Client portfolios are located under the portfolio tools menu. To quickly go over the difference between these different portfolio tools, my portfolio is meant to track your own personal portfolio and that personal portfolio can have sub accounts. Client portfolios are multiple portfolios and those portfolios can be either created in Coifin or they can be imported from an outside system like Schwab. And then model portfolios are allocation based portfolios. So these portfolios will always have a percent weighting and this is an asset allocation model that financial advisors will use like growth or value or core whereas client portfolios and my portfolio are going to be portfolios with actual quantities of shares. So these are always going to have a quantity, whereas model portfolios are going to have a percentage allocation. Jumping into the client portfolios workflow, here's my master list of all my portfolios that I've thus far created. If I click on one of the portfolios, I'll get my PL table and my PL table will have some basic information, including the purchase date quantity weight average cost and market value and then some p l statistics these positions are grouped by lots so i can expand one of these positions and to the extent i do have lots they would all group under one position here so i could see that i have different purchase dates for this security the other tabs are the exposure tab what the exposure tab does is it shows you your underlying portfolio exposure by different variables so here I'm looking at the portfolio exposure on the security level. Then I could look at it under instrument type, asset allocation, equity sectors, regions, countries, fixed income sectors, credit quality, and maturity. I also have the option for any of these to set either as no benchmark or versus a benchmark. And the benchmark I would create, I would set here in my portfolio dialogue creations. I would turn this on. And let's say I wanted to compare it to the SPY. I would set that as my benchmark. You can also use another model portfolio for a custom benchmark or any ETF or mutual fund. So I'm just gonna use SPY here, save the portfolio. And now for my exposure exhibits, I have the portfolio versus the underlying benchmark. I can also look at the hypothetical performance of the portfolio, either on a rolling returns basis or a performance basis. So I could see how that portfolio has done over the past five years or 10 years. One important thing to note is this performance is based on the current holdings or the current shares. And it doesn't take into account historically any sort of sale or purchase. So this performance assumes that the portfolio was held with the current shares that are held today and then calculates the performance historically. If a stock didn't trade at any point in time, for example, if I look at the performance all, um, if there are stocks or securities in my portfolio that didn't trade, this basically rebalances the shares out and purchases the shares when they started trading. So for example, if I go back to my portfolio and um, GIOIX, I'm not sure when it started trading, but let's say it started trading in 2005. That means for this portfolio in 2005, I would have purchased the shares and that would have come out pro rata from the other position. So. The hypothetical performance here is calculated by taking the current shares, going back historically, and if something didn't trade, it basically rebalances the weight to the other positions in the portfolio. The last tab is this analysis tab. The analysis tab looks at different aspects or different variables for the securities in my portfolio. And I can change this to, a, uh, for example, my performance tab, and that would look at the performance, or I could look at the performance by year. So different ways to slice and dice the holdings and analyzing them by, by the different variables. I could go back to my homepage uh, just to show you another way to add new securities is from our Schwab integration. So we have the Schwab integration today. We're going to have more integrations down the line. If you want a specific integration, please email us help at coifin.com. But right now, the way it works is you would click on here you would set up your Schwab integration, which would take about a week. After that set up, it would be connected to your Coifin account. And so here I've already connected a fake Schwab account. And when I press this, 
I can see all the accounts in my master account. And once I have these positions in my master account, I can select them. So let's say I can select these uh, positions. And what I can do is I could either import them separately or I could import them and combine them into one portfolio. So for example, if I wanted to um, import some positions here in terms of, let's say Scott Brown and Elisa Gifford um, and Jennifer and John were part of one household, then I could select these positions and say import and combine. My portfolio would be created with the combined positions and then I would be able to name this portfolio. So this, let's say this would be the Smith household. Now that's updated and I have my same analysis in terms of all the different uh, underlying positions and the cost basis, the exposure for the entire portfolio for the house, entire household, the hypothetical performance of, of that entire portfolio and the analysis in terms of looking at different variables like uh, valuation or performance or whatever you wanted to look at. The last thing I wanted to show you is a way to create a report. So let's say I have this portfolio and I wanted to create a report. I could hit this create report button. I would get started from scratch. I would uh, um, decide kind of what kind of report I wanted to create. So let's say you wanted to create a report for a client meeting. I would just uh, choose my Smith household portfolio. I would name it as named. I would click next. Um, I can upload a logo. Um, so let's say I worked at SFMG. That would uh, download the logo here. And now this is part of my report. And then I can go through and select which pages I wanted to show in my report. So for example, if I didn't want this uh, matrix, this holding matrix, I could just hide it. Or if I looked at the, if I didn't want to show the fixed income exposure because it wasn't relevant to this portfolio, I can hide it as well and then create the report and create the PDF. The other way that you can use this is as a potential client proposal tool. So if you, if you wanted to create a report here and look at, uh, for example, a model portfolio that you're recommending, for example, the growth portfolio as the proposed portfolio and the current portfolio would be that Smith household portfolio. You would click next. Um, you would again add the logo, which I'm going to skip. And now you have this really nice comparison report where that proposed portfolio, which is the, the growth portfolio and the current portfolio, you can compare them on different metrics. So I could compare them on these fees, yield, drawdown, performance. I could look at the holdings summary. I could look at that holdings matrix of the proposed and current portfolio to see any sort of concentration risk. I could look at the equity exposure and compare my proposed portfolio versus the current portfolio. Same thing for fixed income, performance, the performance chart, some color on risk and what drawdowns and stress tests look like, a stock x-ray tool, some of the quantitative metrics for the proposed portfolio, and then an analysis for cash sensitivity and fee sensitivity for a hypothetical portfolio to demonstrate fees and cash and how they can drag on a portfolio performance. And then I can also uh, customize these disclosures to show and to reflect my firm's compliance policies. And I would click create report to create that PDF. Hopefully that gives you a sense of how to use client portfolios. If you have any questions or if you want to request a seven day free trial, please email us help at goifin.com. Thank you.